like me But I just wish you would kiss me But back when I was 18 Would drink till I couldn't see the whiskey I kinda want this night to change right now Been fucking restless all along Cause going out just ain't that fun no I'm out here scrolling through my phone but it's I'm trying to do this thing where I go to a new cafe every day to get some work done instead of going to the same cafe over and over again. Today I'm going to a place called Biroso Coffee. Our Airbnb host said this is the best coffee. They are a roastery too, so they roast their own beans on site. I'm down for some good coffee. It's all, all right. That's a good cup of coffee. I think this is maybe the first coffee I've ever had where I can actually taste the tasting notes. Black cherry, raspberry, cranberry, strawberry, strawberry, port wine, oily. Yeah, I can taste all of those. Usually I drink coffee and I'm like, it tastes like coffee. And I can taste like floral tones and nutty tones, but wow, that's a good cup of coffee. The coffees went all the way up to 12,000 won for the most expensive ones. All different notes. Um, this one sounded good. I kind of like the fruitier ones. And oh yeah, that's a good cup of coffee. I can't believe it took me this long to check this place out. That was a very productive session. Kim's at the dog cafe, which is right next door, so I'm gonna join her. Oh my gosh, there's a golden retriever. There's a big doggy. Nala has a friend. Hi, Nala. Did you make a friend? No. Oh, it spilled all the water. Oh my god. Now I got a pet yogurt, dog yogurt. She ate it all. Hey, Nala, did you miss me? I'm back in the Korean culture of drinking 20 coffees a day. <sighs> Gotta get the ice Americano. I know I literally just walked out of a coffee shop, but I'm heading to get more coffee. Just walking around the park today with Nala. It's kind of hard to go to a new place because you never know if they're gonna allow dogs. But we're gonna go back to a place that we've been before because you know they're very dog friendly. Oh no, there's a sign here that says that the owner was in a car accident, so the cafe is going to be closed for the foreseeable future. Hope they're okay, but we have to find another cafe. Actually, there's a pizza shop that was recommended by one of the comments, which is not too far from here, so maybe I'll check that out. It's called Tom's Pizza. Hopefully they're open. Say hi. <laughs> she doesn't want to play with the little dog. Look at all the little dogs. This is turning into quite the adventure. Every time I'm looking for a new place, I'm going a little bit further and further away from home. 
So now I'm worried when it's time to go back, it's gonna be a long walk back. This is the spot and... Course are closed. The good news is apparently they open at four. It's uh, 3.52 right now and there's already a, a crowd of people waiting outside. So this place must be good. He took my order, they're not open yet, but he knew I was doing takeout, so he took my order already. And uh, waiting for food, I got buffalo wings and I got a pepperoni pizza. Just classics for now. All right, got it secured. Ooh. Let's go. It's a long walk back home, so I wanna give it a fair rating while it's still fresh. It's starting to get pretty cold, so I can't eat the whole thing here, but. That's what it looks like. It looks good. Let's see. Another truck on? What do you think? I think Nolan's kind of whatever about it. No, I wish I could say that it was delicious it's I think it's pretty good pizza it's the best pizza I've had in Korea so far if I was eating this in LA I would say it's okay pizza no if I was eating this in LA I'd say it's yeah I'd say it's okay pizza if I was eating this in New York I'd say it's pretty bad pizza just to be honest but I love pizza I'm not a pizza snob actually I am a pizza snob but I even like Papa John's pizza this is the best pizza in Korea I'll say that. This is the best pizza I've had in Korea, and I'll try a lot more pizzas. If I have a pizza craving, I would go here. Heading back home now. I think we're like 25 minutes away. Maybe I'll have a different opinion once I get home. I had really high expectations, that's all. The pizza definitely wasn't bad, but I was hyping it up in my head. Okay, I made it back home. It got pretty cold there. I can't even... My face feels frozen right now, so if I'm like slurring my speech, it's because my face is frozen. When I first got out, it was like 40 degrees and sunny. And it dropped like 10 degrees to 30. Um, it's 30 right now, which is below freezing. Uh, so I should not be out in thin pants and without a sweater, which I was. So my legs feel like icicles, but... The pizza's still pretty warm. I actually made it back in like 10 minutes. I power walked it. So I think I could still give it a fair review. Hey. And Nala will also give her review. But. Hmm. I might have to heat it up a little bit. I just hyped it up so much in my head. It does not compare to New York City pizza. Maybe comparable to like LA pizza. Here's the thing. You need a nice scorch on the undercarriage. You need it nice and crispy. And this is nice and crispy. This is the kind of pizza that I think Koreans don't eat. If I showed this pizza to my mom, she would say that it's burnt. And she would make me scrape off all the uh, black spots. But this is what pizza should be like. Also, to me, it seemed like a lot of the perks about this place were kind of just like the vibes. It seemed like a family operation. It seemed like there were a bunch of regulars that got there right when it opened. Actually, they got there before it opened. There was a line outside. And it seemed like the owners knew their regulars and and it seemed like a really cool vibe. I couldn't participate in that because I had Nala with me and I couldn't take her inside. It seems like a place where if I lived nearby, I would eat there a couple times a week. All right, Nala, give me a review. What do you think? Nala says it's good. All right, let's try the buffalo wings. Mmm. I mean, that's classic buffalo wing, but the meat, oh, so soft. And that was a drumstick too. The wings might be even better. That hits the spot. Oh, that is so good. That hits the spot. You're not getting any buffalo wings. You could have some of this crust. Come here. Pop, pop. Good girl. Some Nala content for you guys. <laughs> It's all
Want to get dessert? Yes. All right. Let's look for some dessert. I'm gonna try this place, Sumif. It says coffee dessert pet. We walk by this so many times, maybe some if. We walk by so many times. We want to go in because it says pet, and we don't know if that means you're allowed to bring a pet or if they have pets for you to play with. There's always a way to open any door. That's cute. Hi! Oh my gosh, there's a pet here. Wait, is this a pet cafe? So this dog lives here, it's the owner's dog and it's here all the time but we can also bring Nala here so we'll bring her next time and she can play with this little dog. I'm actually a little sad that we're leaving this place. I feel like we didn't walk around as much. We didn't get to explore too much because it's been freezing cold every day but there's so many cafes and all the cafes have dog menus, it's so funny.